Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Breezy, Jay Breezy from the H Town. Let's get on back with another reaction video. Um, about to react to, well, yeah, react to the Mucker family. Wow, she's obsessed with us for real. The stalking and disrespect continues. You know, I know Erica with Mr. Cryer, Erica, and you know, Mr. You know, Mr. Mucker and Creole Bay. Yeah, man. Um, I'm gonna give you my my take on it like I said I'm neutral to everyone. I don't know all four I don't know them personally but I would say the only ones I probably I talked to like in the for DM wise was you know Mr. Muck and Creole Bay you know Creole Bay subscribed to me you know she said she support all YouTubers you know small YouTubers so um, yeah I mean I talked to her a while back when one of the subscribers her subscribers subscribed to me and they DM me, asked me how Creole be doing, can I see how she doing? And Creole, I told her, I, I, I think she's been busy with school and working and all that, and I let Latoya know, she said, oh, thank you. She said, oh, thank you, Jay. You know, I have been dealing with work and school and all that, so. But, um, you know, Mr. Mucker, you know, he followed me on Instagram. Um, I think I put the clapping emoji on one of their they stories when they was together on one of their stories or whatever. He, 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 he said, hey, what's good, bro? I hope it's all good on your end. And I said, oh, yeah, everything's going on my end, bro, bro. And I put the, the you know, the muscle emoji, you know. But um, but at some point, I probably am going to talk to them on, on the phone or FaceTime one of these days. But Mr. Cryer, I haven't talked to Mr. Cryer, though. But I know Mr. Cryer know who I am. I'm pretty sure he do. Because Erica, you know, months back, like four or five months back, she striked my channel. My strike's not on my channel no more. But um, I had like little, little word exchange words where like, you know, I said, why, I said, I got to, why you strike my channel or whatever. And I said, but you the one that said you was looking forward to my reaction because I reacted to one of your, a couple of your videos. You said you was looking forward to my reaction. Like, I, I don't know, but it's crazy, but. But um, but yeah, my take on it, I should think all four of them should just sit down, talk, talk it out. You know, since so kids involved, like you know, they just need to squash the BS, man. That's all they have to do. That's my my like I said, I'm neutral. My my uh, word, my opinion is sustained. Like they should just squash everything. It's kids involved, so but. We already know how Eric is, you know, she, you know, I don't know, but, but to be honest, they just all just need to squash it, man, but that's my take on it, but anyway, let's make sure I like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media, because we're done, we'll go to seven, to seven, and let's get into the video, y'all, oh, it just got off of work, by the way, what time is it, eight o'clock, yeah, Everything been in an uproar once again, which is to be expected. As long as you're connected with you know who, drama follows them every single place that they go. So this is no different. So this is not going to be a, a rant or no back and forth uh, thing because when you're a mature adult, you handle things a certain type of way. So the best thing that ever happened to me is I got away from that toxic stuff. That way, life is back. Yeah, I don't care if people think, like, for boring-wise, I don't care, because I am a reaction channel. I get my opinion on the video. I could be a little entertaining when I want to. I, it ain't no drama-free over here. Oh, and that's another thing. Jay Breezy reacts. I'm not a T channel, so don't think that I'm a T channel. channel. So for people, if, y if it's T channels, Jay Breezy not part of the T. 
the re the T and all that. I'm a reaction channel. I react to a lot of videos. I get my opinion on the videos. I be I crack jokes on, on the videos, but be entertained at the same time. This channel ain't, ain't no T, bro. This ain't no T channel. This is a reaction channel that we give our opinion and be funny with it at the same time. So I just want to put that out there. J Breezy reacts. Ain't no T channel. Probably don't know what's all going on because again, there's nothing to talk about when you're adults. You should be able to handle things behind the scenes, right? When you're adults, but uh, right, I was thinking that too. Yeah, I think they should just squash everything by a camera because see, this see, man, that's what the subscribers want. That the subscribers they they like they play both sides, they don't like the drama and all that, but they tune in and they want the drama at the same time. I, but at the same, like I said, I'm, I think all they should just squash everything behind camera, man, because that's what the fans want. They want that drama and all that, but they the ones that tell me, oh, oh, they doing the thing, they doing this for views, this and that and that and that. But bro, come on now, make up your mind, man. I think, yeah, I think Mr. Mucker, Creo Bay, and Eric and Squash just squash that BS, squash everything, man, just. It's kids involved and everything, man. You know, they just got to squash that, man. Fortunately, um, the other party involved that has a, a baby um, that could potentially be mine, because again, she's denying me the DNA test. Any woman out there, I'm sure, if any of you guys are out there right now, and a man asks you for a DNA test, even if you feel offended by it, wouldn't you go ahead and get that done so that man can have that peace of mind? Unless you're... All right. Like, you know, just th just say this, right? If, say if my baby Yolanda, she get pregnant, right? Like, if I want if I want the DNA test or whatever, but I know for sure the baby will be mine, but... Um, some I don't know why some people women uh, women shouldn't really get offended. Some women do get offended about that, but for me, for example, if my baby comes pregnant or whatever, I know it's gonna be my baby because she's with me. So I know that's gonna be my baby. But all in all, in general, women shouldn't really get too offended, you know. But I I see from if a guy asks asks, you know, I guess they want to be sure. Sure, but um, but women, yeah, but they should, you know, don't get too upset about it because you know, but women shouldn't get offended, you know, because you know that guy might think you was with somebody else before him. That's that could be too, but at the same time, if she was with you last or whatever, yeah. Hiding something, any woman who's about their business want to have that peace of mind to prove that they're not community P. They will have been took this test unless you have some type of other agenda in mind. But either way, um, some interesting things have uh, been happening um, behind the scenes like the Texas Attorney General. They're behind, but they did just get, get back with me. And they gave me some interesting news. In the state of Texas... Attorney General, bro. You see, man, that's crazy, man. There's no baby born this year by the name of Drake White. What? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, I got. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Mugger, my brother, my brother. Hold on, hold on, man. I got. Wait, wait, what? Took this test. Unless you have some type of other agenda in mind. But either way. Some interesting things have uh, been happening um, behind the scenes, like the Texas what? Attorney General, they're behind, but they did just get, get back with me, and they gave me some interesting news. In the state of Texas, there's no baby born this year by the name of Drake White. So do you know what that means? That means that this girl is lying about the child's real name. Now the child's real name. What is that? 
Oh, this shit is crazy, man. But why would somebody lie about that? But again, you can't put nothing past them because they lie about virtually everything. So, you can't really expect anything different from a liar when a person would lie about having twins and a person would lie about losing a child and a person would make up fake documentation, this person cannot be trusted. You lie about something like that, you will lie about anything. So, of course, I tried to reach out to the girl. She has me blocked. My phone number is blocked. My email is blocked. And, of course, I'm blocked on all social media. So, you guys who are smarter than me, <laughs> you guys who follow her, who, who must be smarter than me, how do I get in contact with a person that have me blocked everywhere? Ooh, Mr. Markle, my brother, you fried up because... How is she going to say you're a deadbeat father and all that? You're not in a father's life. You're not in a child's life. But she got you blocked on almost social media. And she got your number blocked. How are you going to get in touch with her? My, Mr. Muggy, you have a straight point. How is she going to block you on all social medias and, and block your number? How does she expect you to, um, you know, keep in contact and to see how the baby doing? Damn. Man, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. If I'm blocked on all so, so like if I have a baby and everything, and my baby moms block me on all social media and block my number block, why? How I'm supposed to get in contact to see how the baby doing if you got me blocked on all social media and a number and a number block too? So how he supposed to get in contact, <sighs> fellas? Be careful who you lay in the bed with, cause crazy women out here, man, lie about stuff, man. Tell me, how can I be involved in a child's life if I'm blocked Damn. on everything? Damn. The only way, let me give you the answer, because a lot of you follow her and y'all follow people blindly and don't use any critical thinking skills whatsoever, and that's okay. So. Yeah, I think I am follow yeah, but I don't say nothing to Eric. I think I am. I think I do follow on Instagram, but but I don't. I don't um, but uh, I don't talk to her anyway. So that's no fault to you. You're not my audience. But ask yourself these simple questions. If you were me, what would you do to be able to be involved in a child's life? If you're blocked on all outlets, phone, email, the whole nine. And keep in mind. She moves. I have no earthly idea where she lives at, and nor do I care. But the point is, there's no way physically possible for me to see a child if I'm blocked everywhere. Right. How could, how can he, do he, like, got the her mom's number or anybody, like, he, I'm pretty sure Mr. Mucker probably don't, but if he did, 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 if he did, he probably could call her mom or one of her family members or something. Or you know what I'm saying? How he's supposed to be involved in a child's life when she got him blocked on on his on all social medias, man? That's crazy to me, man. That's just crazy. How he supposed to be involved or know what's going on? I'm I'm with him on that. Like how he's supposed to know? I'm with Mr. Mucker on that, man. Like how he's supposed to know? So just like you guys, I get updates on we'll just call the we'll just call the baby Drake uh, as a nickname because again that's not the child's name. So let's just go with that though, okay? So let's just say I get the same information on baby Drake as y'all do. Somebody will send me something and say, "Hey, um, baby Drake is in the hospital." And what do I do? Call her. What happens? The phone number is blocked. What do y'all want me to do? Life goes on. We could have been had a DNA test. Now, the only reason she don't want to do a DNA test is because that gives me rights to my child if it's my child. It's bigger than if a child looks like you, identical to you. That still doesn't give me any rights. It doesn't change the fact that 
no matter what, I cannot see the child. I can't do anything because I am blocked. Do you not understand that? My audience, my subscribers, very, very intelligent people. You can tell by the comments that they're intelligent, and that's the reason that they like more and more of what me and my fiance is doing because we give you guys positive content, logical content, and just loving each other, loving our children the way life is supposed to be. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm all, I'm, yeah, Mr. Monk, I'm with you on that, too. I'm all about positivity on my channel. I'm all about positivity, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm all for it, man. You're always going to get haters at the same time, but I'm all about positivity on my channel, too. Bringing vlogs here and there, and I just love doing my reaction videos, you know? Just bringing as much content as I, I possibly can. If you want drama, there's drama out there for you, but that's not, we're not a drama channel. We're about family, we're about love, we're about God, we're about positivity. That's what we're about. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that we're perfect. We never profess to be perfect, but we're putting out positive content because that's what we want to draw back into our lives. I don't care about how many views I get. Kimmy doesn't care about how many views she gets. Once we put the information out, we just sleep good at night putting out the content that we put out. No need for shade, drama, or any of those things. We ground the dose. I want y'all to pray for her because you can tell that she's really, really mentally disturbed and stuff that's not all the way there. And that's not even like no cap, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because something is really, really wrong. You just start conjuring up things because you bitter and make up a, a storyline to play victim. You become a victim for the rest of your life. The Texas Attorney General, they will be getting the correct name because they do have uh, your full name. They got your full name. So they're going to have to do their due diligence to get your address and then they'll subpoena you. And then you'll be forced to do the DNA test. But other than that, my hands are tied and I'm living life. I'm not going to be sitting around miserable because you're lying about a child and surgery just to get sympathy. And honestly, if, if y'all really want, want the real, I honestly feel like if anything, she's potentially doing something with that child just to get attention. And that's my honest feeling. So I had to mentally be prepared for everything that comes with that. Like, that's what I really, really feel. In my heart of heart, I really feel like she's doing something to that child to be spiteful just to get attention. And that's a sickness out there. And y'all can look it up. And I'm sure that's probably what's going on. But something clearly is not right. Every time somebody says something that's shade, if I profess my love for my fiance, that's shade. If I say hello, that's shade. If I say goodbye, that's shade. The world does not revolve around you. Your world revolves around you, not the world. Nobody's thinking about you. No shame. Oh, that was my baby. That was my baby. Oh, oh my baby, Jackson. You need it. You are non factor. You really is. So stop trying to make yourself relevant. Check this out. Me and my fans, we haven't been on YouTube for two weeks. Damn. We're still on your mind. Damn, two weeks. Dang, I didn't know it was that long. Wow. Wow. Imagine that. Imagine people who don't need the platform step away, living real life, enjoying the family, enjoying each other, loving on each other for weeks off of the platform, and you still just are just obsessed. It's like, I don't understand. I don't understand the thought process of a, of a obsession. Yeah, man. That's what, fellas, just make sure you strap up, man, because you get a, when you get a woman pregnant, she your baby mama, and you're not with her, man, she, so they'll do anything to do, do and, uh, they'll do anything just to try to sabotage it when you want to get into a, a new relationship, man. Just make sure for y'all stay strapped up, man. If it ain't the woman you won't want to be with, just strap up, man. If you don't want to be with her, man. Person like that. You really, really seem bitter. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you really need help. You need to heal. You need to get off of YouTube and you need to heal. Focus on yourself. 
focus on those babies. Give me the DNA test before you get subpoenaed because it's coming your way and everything is okay. Like, don't make this difficult. But to this point, I expect you to be who you are. You've shown this for many, many years before me and currently, and you're going to be that way afterwards. Nothing is going to change but the year. Until you take 100% accountability to where you at in life and the things that you're about to be going through, nothing's going to change. Doing so many different things to try to discredit the muckers. Why? How does that help you? Going out your way, making a song. Yeah, here's a bit. Yeah, it seemed like here's a bit. That's what it looks like a bit of baby mom. That's what it seemed like. But she want to be in Creole Bay's position, man. Sometimes, sometimes they don't always work in your favor. Making a song about a baby, yet you have two other children. How do you think they're going to feel when they see that? Like, all of that just to try to discredit a man <laughs> and his fiance. Like, move on. Move on. Bitter is not a good look. It's not. And I know a lot of your subscribers, uh, they drink the Kool-Aid, and they're bitter as well. So that's, again, that's not my audience. My audience is not bitter people who don't want to take accountability to where they at in life. That's not my audience. So I don't care what opinions they have. They have the same thought process as you. So you, uh, you follow who your market is. Your market is bitter, broken people. Bitter, broken people people not broke Damn. so you won't twist my words broken meaning they need to heal meaning you play on their traumas just to get views and they fall for it so that's not your fault it's their fault you just lied publicly lied about vanishing twins and they still willingly followed you so that ain't to you good for you but at the end of the day if that's who they want to follow if you're that leader then good for you Shit, Adolf Hitler was a leader. So that's all it is. You just leave. <laughs> Adolf Hitler was a was crazy too, man. I know Adolf Hitler was a crazy dude too, bro. Hey, yeah, that's facts right there, though. Leading an army of bitter, broken women. That's all you're doing. Because none of them are telling you right. None of them are telling you, girl, you should. <laughs> Get that man a DNA test, you know. No matter how you feel, you should get that man a DNA test. Why wouldn't you? Oh, I forgot. My boiling hot water. My boiling hot water. Boiling, boiling. Boiling, boiling, boiling. <laughs> <laughs> so, but well, before I get on, I want to give some, some shout outs because, you know, in these two weeks, me, you know, loving on my beautiful fiance, my children, my bonus children and everything. Um, sometimes I turn on a video too. Some things will pop on my timeline because, again, I got most of the people who make content, the uh, people who follow you or, or got your back, all of them blocked. So they stuff don't even pull up on my, my YouTube uh, as terms of a search. But they have some really good people. Uh, we got, uh, who we got? The Real YouTube T. That sister is, is um, dropping some really, really good content on her channel. Um, the link is going to be in the description. So if you guys didn't see her channel, it's going to be in the description. I'm going to do it on this video. So you got the real YouTube T. You have um, uh, Jay's reaction. She has some really, really good content. Please support that sister. Yeah, she Check do. out her stuff. The, yeah, she do. Uh, the she link do. is going to be in the That's description right. for hers, too. Um, we have Queen TL Interaction. She's dropping some really, really good stuff right now, too. Make sure that y'all subscribe to her. Link is going to be in the description. Um, I know my boy, you know, J. Michael, we don't talk. We haven't talked in about a month or so. Oh, yeah, Mr. Monkey, yeah, J. Michael, that's big homie right there. I actually text him. Um, I text him on a Thursday, see how he's been doing. He, he's a... Yeah, he said he been all right. He been good, and he told me you and I said yeah. I said yeah, I've been good, man, grinding and chilling. He said yeah, I've been grinding too. He said you got any ideas for me, <laughs> little bro? I was like, mm, I said mm, I'll think of something though. 
But yeah, but yeah, shout out to shout out to big homie Jay Michael too, man. That's my man. I text him uh yeah Thursday, man. He doing good and stuff, man. He said Lil Darion coming out with a song. I can't wait to check that out. Yeah, shout out to big homie Jay Michael. Oh, but uh, he's not really he's not a T channel, but he is dropping some bangers over there, some music. So um, you know, it, it should you should um put it on iTunes. That Wicked Crackhead. I mean, that's a very very good track. Y'all haven't heard Wicked Crackhead? Make sure y'all go to J. Michael's channel. Check that out. Yeah, I got some good bars by yeah, Curry and yeah. uh, Miss P. I seen the Wicked. I seen it, though, but I ain't even watch it, though. But I got to go. I got to go over to my big homie, J. Michael, man. I might do it after this video. But, yeah, man. Who else? So, let me get back to these content credits. I want to give you guys some shout-outs. Um, who else am I missing? Let's see. Um, yeah, we, I also have uh, Mr. Kids Shoe Review. Some of these people even had, you know, good or bad things to say about myself, so I'm never shying away from somebody um, saying something positive or negative about me. All I ask is, keep it respectful. That's it. And I can respect your opinion if you're... Yeah, Mr. Muck, yeah, Mr. Muck, yeah, Mr. Muck, I'm pretty sure Mr. Muck and Creole Bay seen my videos. Creole Bay knows, Mr. Muck knows that um I'm a good channel, I'm a good channel too, so... Hey man, y'all, y'all, you shout out your boy next. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, all jokes aside, man. But Mr. Mo and Creo, I'm pretty sure you know. I'm pretty sure they know I'm a good channel too. I'm pretty sure Creo base subscribed to me like last year, so you know she know I'm a good channel. And Mr. Mocha recently followed me on on Instagram. He know I'm a good person. He knows that. Pain is your opinion, but when you come disrespectful and all of that stuff, I'm not asking you to do anything different. And if it's uh, within reason to where I can uh, send you a strike, I'm going to do that as well. I don't care about people getting their money at the expense of trying to drag me or drag my fiance. That's two entirely different things. Have your opinion. You don't have to like me. But just be respectful. Understand that I have children as well, just like most of you guys have children on here. So just be respectful. I got two stepkids, but yeah, man. But yeah, I feel you. Y'all keep, keep it respectful, man. Nobody calling you out your name and nobody um, trying to pull up anything about you because you're not important, you're none factors. So just keep it the same way. Keep the content about YouTube, not personal jabs and personal shots as mm -hmm. adults. Let's at least try to do that. And when those other recordings that came out about her, it was just crazy. The recording that she that was talking to so many dudes at the same time and um, saying she would give it, she should give with this guy. And all of that stuff, like, man, when I was hearing those recordings, it was like, whoa, like, it's everything that I expected, you know, so. Ah. Boiling hot water, shit. You know, everything just comes out in full circuit. Since February, my lovely fiance, my baby, anything that she wants. So since February, you know, what baby wants, baby gets, and that's not going to change. And this part right here, as you can see, this is her phone number. You can see, this is the messages. And you can see that I text her on July 16th, and you can see that my number was blocked. I called, and, went, and the numbers go straight to voicemail. I called multiple times, trying to check on the baby. The phone goes straight to voicemail. Anytime that I don't do something that she asks of me, which is not going to happen, she blocks me. That's not how adults move. If you see, so that know. means the number, the phone yeah, about, number I'm is not going to go. Storage, yeah. Yeah. But that, I don't care nothing about none of that. Anything that's not pertaining to the child is a relevant conversation. That's small talk that I don't care to have with you. If it's not about the baby, if it's not about the DNA test, we have no conversation. And that's just fair. And that's with or without me being in a relationship. Mm. That's in general because you're an evil person and I don't trust you. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and shut the video down. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, a blessed day. Um, Talk to you, Mr. Moe. to you, my all brother, man. Hope to meet you one day, man. I can't not wait. Change, one day, man. You seem cool, broken. bro. You ain't clear on baby, man. Shout out to y'all. Congratulations, and that's man. that's not going to change. Not because somebody is over there bitter and needs to be healing over there. That, that's not my problem that you need. 
That's sad, man. That's crazy, man. This shocked the hell out of me. And then the last thing he said about a different dudes. Damn. That boy in hot water was steaming, steaming. Yeah, anyway, y'all, JB found just as wow. She's off since we was for real, which we already know what it is. But anyway, JB found, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media, description down below. Roll to the 700 to the 700. The king of reactions. I'll see you in the next reaction. Roll to the 700 to the 700.